China has just tested a new type of nuclear bomb that delivers nuclear-like destruction without radiation. This breakthrough gives China the ability to create nuclear blast, like devastation, without long-lasting radiation typical of a nuclear blast. This breakthrough weapon creates a fireball hotter than 1000 degrees Celsius, lasting 15 times longer than regular TNT. This development comes amid growing tensions between China and the United States over many things, including trade and Taiwan. Wang Xuefeng, lead researcher, stated, This combination allows precise control over blast intensity, easily achieving uniform destruction of targets across vast areas. The bomb uses magnesium hydride, originally developed for clean energy applications. When detonated, the 2 kilogram device produced a massive fireball exceeding 1,000 degrees, hot enough to melt aluminum alloys. Most concerning is the duration of the thermal effect. The fireball lasts over 2 seconds, 15 times longer than an equivalent TNT explosion. Chinese scientists are already scaling up production. A new facility in Shanxi province aims to produce 150 tons of magnesium hydride annually, suggesting plans for widespread deployment. The Pentagon has yet to release an official response to this breakthrough, leaving many defense experts concerned about America's preparedness. This weapon represents a new class of military technology, bridging conventional and nuclear weapons without crossing radioactive thresholds. American military analysts worry this could give China significant advantages in regional conflicts, particularly in scenarios involving Taiwan or disputed territories. The technology behind the bomb shows remarkable innovation in weaponizing what was intended as green energy storage material. Former Defense Department advisor Gregory Mitchell warned yesterday, this gives China the ability to create devastating thermal effects without the international backlash of using nuclear weapons. President Trump's administration now faces difficult decisions about how to counter this technological leap. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth will meet with Joint Chiefs tomorrow to discuss potential countermeasures and acceleration of America's own advanced weapons programs. China's bomb creates a unique strategic problem. Its effects visually resemble a nuclear detonation but produce no radiation, potentially causing dangerous miscalculations during conflicts. The weapon could potentially disable or destroy hardened military targets, including aircraft carriers and reinforced bunkers, without triggering nuclear response protocols. Marco Rubio, Secretary of State, called for immediate consultations with our Indo-Pacific allies during this morning's press briefing. The bomb's precision control capabilities make it effective against both military installations and naval targets areas where China seeks strategic advantages in the Western Pacific. This development threatens to accelerate the arms race in Asia, potentially drawing in Japan, South Korea and other regional powers concerned about China's growing military capabilities. Defense contractors stocks surged following the news, with major American weapons manufacturers seeing 5 to 8% gains in yesterday's trading. Congressional leaders are already calling for increased defense spending to counter China's technological advances. Senator Tom Cotton declared, We cannot allow a hydrogen bomb gap to develop between the United States and China. The Chinese test demonstrates their commitment to developing weapons that maximize destruction while minimizing international condemnation. Without radioactive fallout, these weapons could theoretically be used in conflicts without triggering nuclear response protocols from adversaries. Defense Secretary Hegseth remarked, We will not allow China to gain technological superiority in any weapons category that threatens American security or that of our allies. The White House National Security Council has convened an emergency assessment team to analyze the full implications of China's new capabilities. President Trump is expected to address the nation about this development after receiving comprehensive briefings from military and intelligence officials. America's own research into advanced non-nuclear weapons will likely receive massive funding increases in response to China's breakthrough. The question remains whether this represents the beginning of a new arms race or if diplomatic solutions can prevent further escalation in an already tense Indo-Pacific region.